Yeah, dude, are you kidding me? Look at that. Come on, homie! Hey! <laughs> Get there, baby! This is going home with me today, this five iron. I'm loving it. I was gonna take another club home with him, but this is, this is the one that's gonna go. So if it's missing, it's in room 418. My name is Jim Miller. I'm a golf expert with Creative Golf. I've helped over 2,600 golfers get into golf gear. Just so you know, I'm not sponsored by any brand, and these reviews are completely unbiased. I'm here today to talk to you about a, a new product, a new golf club that's just been released in the last couple years, and uh, it's Robin Golf. They've come up with this, this whole concept of the nine essential golf clubs in, in, in your bag. And as most of us know, we don't always use all our golf clubs. So it's got a driver in there, it's got a, a wood in there, it's got a hybrid, it's got a five, seven, and nine. It's got a pitching wedge, sand wedge, putter. So you get nine, nine clubs. And, su and surprisingly, when I hit this club today, it's one of those things where you under promise but over deliver. And that was the expectation uh, that I went into this. This is a performance level golf club. It is a performance level club for those mid-range golfers. If you're an elite golfer, this is not the club for you. But if you're looking to get into a complete set with a lot of confidence, this is the set for you. It performed really, really well. It's got a high launch, again, that's because of the low center of gravity in the cavity back. The one thing that, for me, that doesn't appeal to my eye is the profile here is a little bit thicker than, than I like. This is a really thin grip. For me, if I own these clubs, I put a little bit of a thicker grip on it. This is a set that I would highly recommend for anybody that's entering the golf, want to start playing golf, introduce, it's got a great price point, and it performs. So I'm really excited to be talking about this. This is called Robin, and this is the iron that comes in a complete set of clubs. Right off the bat, I like its looks. It's a kind of matte black all the way around iron, and that makes it look very cool. It just looks stylish, okay? Another thing that that black does is it makes the head look a little bit smaller. So while it's bigger and has game improvement size, it doesn't appear as if it's clunky or bulky, which I find really appealing. So this club, I think, is going to benefit a lot of first timers to the game. I really believe that this is going to help those people who are new to the game feel good about playing golf. I'm a single digit handicap and this might sound a bit snobby. When I first heard that I was going to be playing a brand called Rob and I thought not much to it. But once I hit this thing, it felt amazing. The ball went high and far and straight and I kept doing it over and over again. I'm very impressed with this. Having that been said, I think this club will help a lot of people who are new to the game a lot of people who want to get better, and a lot of people who don't have a huge budget to spend on clubs. One potential drawback to this club is because of its muted matte black finish, that could potentially wear away. But I wanna to speak to the performance. There's a rubber insert behind the face and this uh, trailing edge, which really absorbed the impact and made it feel wonderful. So whenever I hit it, I felt pleasure in, wow, that felt awesome. Even when you miss hit it, it didn't sting. So this little rubber backstop is very effective at helping you feel better when you hit the ball. But this is the real standout. This is the iron in the complete set. This happens to be the five iron and it goes far and it goes straight and more importantly, it feels really smooth through impact. You feel when you hit it properly. And to be honest, I didn't miss hit any with these. So the claim is this goes as far as the P790s and the Rogue ST Pros. That is a stiff shaft. This is a stiff shaft? All right, cool. That's their stiff. I bet you it's a It's a thick top line. I mean, it, it doesn't look bad. I mean, it looks like a really good, clean look. Oh, wow. That is the general consensus. Oh, wow. That's. Do it again. That's like a like a Callaway iron or TaylorMade iron. It doesn't feel like a cheap golf club at all. Exactly. That's exactly. Yeah. It doesn't feel like a cheap golf club yeah. at all. It like, feels like a thirteen hundred dollars set of irons. Oh wow! <laughs> what am I telling you, dude? Wow. 
That's impressive. It feels like a top dollar club. It the trajectory on it's unreal. It feels soft, it flies off the face. So how would you compare it to the Rogue ST Pro that you hit earlier? With an exotic shaft and... Oh, I think if you if you expect this out like the Rogue ST Pro, you'd arguably get the exact same results. I think if you got the right shafts in these, if you could find a way to spec these... How did the head feel? Felt so, I mean, it flew off the face. Like it flew, it off. It, like when it hits the face, it just goes. Like it was unreal, yeah. Probably a lot of the cheaper golf clubs when you catch them you don't you can't tell that you caught right. them you know what i mean you're like oh did i get this one because i the first two i kind of missed that right. third one and you yeah. oh you knew immediately you're like that was the center of the club face that that one's gone all right give it back i gotta fill i'm gonna do one more let me do one more let me do one more Was that a little groove low? Yeah, it was a groove a low. A groove low, and it I'll still took off and went straight. I'll take that for a groove low every single time. Yeah. I'm almost speechless. This is about as speechless as I can get. I've swung it a few times, and it's done the exact same thing all three times. Straight, high, controlled, and it felt good. That's what's more important. It didn't feel clicky. It didn't feel harsh. It felt smooth, almost like a forged iron. What am I saying here? It, this is not forged, but it felt like it. Next up, I'm gonna talk about the Robin driver. It's part of the complete set, and this driver has some features in it that you're gonna find in clubs that are $500 or more. It has two movable weights towards the trailing edge that help you with fade bias if you wanna hit the ball more to the right, or draw bias, which can help you correct a slice or a cut. It also has an adjustable hosel, which can help close the face or open the face, again, to help and aid in the direction of the ball flight. It also comes in that matte black finish. When I hit it, I felt pretty solid impact. I was impressed by this. I can't say it's the longest driver out there, but it was forgiving and it felt solid. I didn't feel punished if I miss hit it, and I also felt good when I hit it well. I think that this is definitely a game improvement driver. And as beginners games change, this driver's settings and options can change while your game changes. So if you start hitting a draw instead of your cut, you can move these weights to accommodate for that. I am pleasantly surprised by this set, by the performance of it, by the way it looks and the way it feels. I'm really looking forward to seeing where this company goes and I can't wait to get customers into this set because I certainly think it's going to help them and I think they're going to enjoy the game. If you'd like to talk to me about getting into this club or other options, go ahead and check out my profile at curated.com or click the link below in the description. And if you like this video and want more content, please hit subscribe.